Hi everyone, Carrie Brunslick here. I wanted to come and talk to you guys about the anatomy of the vagina. So when I'm talking about where to use lubrication or where a toy is going or where you're, what you're gonna use for what and how to stimulate this, I wanna make sure that you know what I'm talking about. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a peace sign just like this, you're gonna turn it upside down and you're gonna stick your thumb through just like this. Now, this is your little vagina gang sign, yay! So now if you have me on Snapchat, you can Snapchat this to me all day long. But these are the parts of your vagina. So a misconception is that a lot of people think this, all of it, is the vagina, which is not true. This is the clitoris right here, and these two right here is the legs of your labia. But the thing is, is that all of that to together is considered the vulva, including your lips, okay? So also, everyone thinks that, well, not everyone, but most people think that the clitoris is simply external. Now, fun fact, this is actually, your clitoris is actually, on average, bigger than the average size penis because it's over five and a half inches long because the clitoris goes inside like a wishbone and has legs, wraps all the way back towards your G-spot. So that's why 80% of women need clitoral stimulation in order to achieve an, a G-spot orgasm. So whenever I am referencing uh, any po point of the vagina, whether it be the clitoris, the vulva, the labia, and then back here would be the G-spot, okay? So whenever I'm referencing the G-spot, it's gonna be back here. That is what you're going to be thinking of, okay? So I just wanted to come to you guys so that you know exactly what I'm talking about, where you put what, and how you use the different things in order for them to work best for you.